This is Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs. I wanted to take a minute to share some messages on COVID-19 in Knox County. First, I want to say that I have the utmost confidence and respect in Dr. Buchanan and her staff at the health department. While the rest of us are making the decision to social distance as best we can, they are working around the clock on the front lines to help ensure our public safety. Information and guidance on COVID-19 is coming in fast at all levels, private, public, and government. And I understand it can be confusing and frustrating, but here in Knox County, we are a community of volunteers. We have shown time and time again, our ability and willingness to help those who can't help themselves. Doing things like overbuying groceries, being cross with medical workers at health facilities or manning public health lines and pressuring or shaming hardworking business owners into closing is not constructive. We have received overwhelming guidance that we should only buy what we need, what we really need. Have patience with those who are working to sift through the new information as it comes and support local businesses, sometimes in new and novel ways like ordering takeout or buying a gift card. Isolation can be a difficult thing for many folks. For those battling substance abuse or mental health, know that we see you and we care about you. We are fortunate that in this day and age, we can continue to connect with those who love and support us while still abiding by the prescribed guidelines. FaceTime your grandparents, video chat with friends, pick up the phone and talk to folks. Let's take care of one another. As I've said before, we should continue living our lives. Be cautious, but not afraid. No one has advised us that we can't continue to do the things we love. We just need to be cognizant of how we might need to be flexible in doing those things. I had a conversation with my daughter the other night. Both of my daughters are nurses. This one works in the emergency room. She told me that her hospital was expecting to be overwhelmed with patients. They would probably be short staffed and overworked because there was no one else to do the job, but she will do her job to the best of her ability, despite the danger to herself. There is a lesson there for all of us. We are going to need each other more than ever. In closing, I want to thank everyone for their support and patience as all of us diligently work to make the best decisions we can with the information we have. Together, we are going to get through this. Thanks for watching.